That's a nice. That's a real nice. Hi guys, this is Jim from Laser Everything. And today I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna take a piece of eight by 12 slate and put any kind of picture that I want on it. I will show you how to manipulate the image inside of Photoshop. If this content interests you, stick around cause we're just about to get busy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Photoshop and I'm gonna bring in a picture I thought would be a real cool picture to put on slate. These are actually two good friends of mine, Tommy and Melissa Castro. They actually have a group in Sodus Point, the Skull and Acre Society of Great Sodus Bay. They usually have a big boat party every summer and you, there's hundreds of boats there. So check it out. So with that said, we're going, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to size this. So we're going to do eight by 12 pieces of slate. That looks nice. That looks real nice. So. We're going to save that. This picture is not going to take a lot to be refined, but we'll go into the camera raw filter anyways. First thing I would do is I would lower the whites just a little bit. Just a little, not a lot. The blacks, I'm going to raise the blacks just a little bit. Then we'll take the shadows and we'll raise the shadows just a little bit. And what that's going to do is that's going to separate the black from the white, the black by his pants, by the anchor, so it's going to define the two. And with that, that's pretty much it for this picture. Say OK, and then we're going to save this, and you're all done in Photoshop. Now we're going to open up Lightburn, and we're using the 60 watt M7 Mopa 300 millimeter lens. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle, vertical rectangle, and we're going to size it to 8 wide by 12 tall. And we'll turn it to a T tool. And then we will click on it, press P to center everything. And that looks good. Now we're going to bring in our image. Import higher 8 by 12. Press P to center that. Now, I like it sometimes, but I don't know if the customer is going to like it where the image is going to fall off onto the broken part of the slate. Sometimes it looks cool, sometimes it don't. So what I do is I like to select the image, hold shift, and I'm going to bring it in about three eighths of an inch. And then I'll grab the T tool line and I'll bring that up, hold control, and I'll bring that in to match it. Now I'll hit frame again. With that said, I'm all focused up and we'll click on the image and we'll right click, we'll adjust the image just to take a good look at it. Like I said before, this image doesn't need a lot. So I'm not really gonna touch in the brightness or the gamma or the contrast. I'm just gonna let it go. So we're gonna go to library, slate, photo, photo engrave. We are on Atkinson, which I really like Atkinson. 348 DPI, we're at 300 speed, 18 max power, and 50 frequency. Depending on the image now, this doesn't have a lot of white in it, so I raise the frequency, which is going to give the white a little bit more of a blast, so to speak. If there was a real lot of white in the background, then I would drop this down to 25 frequency. So, we're all set here, we're all focused up, so uh, let's give it a whirl. Okay guys, so here's the original picture that I started with, and here is the outcome. Wow! That's a nice, that's a real nice. Okay guys and gals, this time what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a different photo and we're gonna put it on a four by four slate coaster. So first thing I'm gonna do is open up Photoshop again, bring the image in, and now we're gonna crop it. And that looks good right there. There you go. That's looking nice right there. So we'll get out of Photoshop. 
we will open up light burn first thing we're going to do, how many times do you guys do this because i know i do it a lot and i almost did it again but always check your lens first which lens you're going to use i'm using the 110 how many times have you done this you get it all done you change the lens and it's flipped over and it's small and it's way over here on the right hand side i'm like good god so I almost did it again, but I got it. So we're at 110. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a square. Turn it to the T tool. We're going to go four by four. Click your arrow, click off, click back on it again. Press P and that centers everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our cat. Push P, that centers it. Now again, like normal, I don't want the image falling off the edge of the slate. I like it sometimes, but you don't know if the customer is going to like it. So what I do is I just get rid of the whole problem and I hold control and I move the image in about three eighths of an inch all the way around. Then grab your T tool and do the same. Bring it right up to it matches. And that should be good right there. What we'll do is I'll frame it, close that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the image, right click, adjust image. Now again, I'm on Atkinson negative image there's a lot of white in this background again like i said before i don't like that because it tends to grind into the slate more and i don't anytime you grind into something it doesn't look as good it doesn't turn it whiter it just makes it more like a dark gray muddy color and that's not good this is the good thing about lightburn you only need minimal adjustments for all of this and they give you the up and down arrows so you can make minimal adjustments at one time. So we're gonna start with the contrast. And if you notice, as you click, you can see the image changing to show the contrast and what you want and what you don't want. That's a little bit too much. So we're gonna go back the opposite way. There's not a lot of detail in the background and we wanna keep that. Brightness, we're gonna drop the brightness down just a little bit. And as you can see, it's starting to make the outlines of the background better. So that means you're gonna see those details in the background. Otherwise, you can also just get rid of the whole background altogether, but I chose to keep it in there because you have the rug and everything like that. I would like to drop down the gamut just a little bit. And now you can see the blacks get blacker, but the whites will get whiter because the blacks are blacker, if that makes any sense. So I like this, I'm gonna press okay. We're gonna frame this up and we're gonna run it. I'm in focus, so let's hit it. Okay, everybody, we're gonna do this all over again. So we're gonna go into Photoshop, we're gonna bring in our image, we're gonna crop it, we're gonna go four by four, you like that? That looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is go to filter, camera raw filter. The temperature we're just going to play with just a little bit. Give it a little bit of heat, give it a little bit more color. Let's drop the exposure down just a little bit so it'll define the blacks with the whites a little bit more. The whites we are going to drop down a little bit and then we're going to raise the blacks. Then after that, the only thing is the shadows. We want to see where the shadows are going to be. And that's looking good right there around the ears. So it's separating the whites from the image. And with that, I would say that looks pretty good. So we're going to click OK. We're going to save it. And then we're going to come right into Lightburn. Remember, we're using a 110 lens now. So make sure I got the 110 lens up. So now we're going to draw our square. T tool, we're going to go four inches by four inches. Click on it, click off, click back on again, press P. There, now we're squared up. Then we're going to bring in our image. Press P, that aligns everything. Now again, I don't want my image running off the edge of the slate, so I'm going to hold control. I'm going to bring the image in about three eighths of an inch. Take the T tool and do the same thing. Bring that up to where it matches. Now that's looking mighty nice right there. Everything else is the same, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna light this up. Oops. 
So everybody, this is the first turnout from Lightburn settings. And this is a turnout from Photoshop settings. I'm a lot better with Photoshop settings than I am with Lightburn settings at the moment, but I'm planning on getting better. If you got value out of this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified every time you'll get a new video from me from Laser Everything. Check out our Discord and Facebook groups link in the description below. Support the channel over at the lmamasters.lasereverything.net. If you're wondering how I've gotten this far with doing photos on any kind of material, check out the ultimate photo engraving guide that Alex did a while ago. I'll leave a link to the description at the bottom. It's done a lot for me and it's gonna help you along and get you started. So with that said, from myself and everybody at Laser Everything, peace. <music>